What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Squelch Panda back at you with another G Fuel review. Today's going to be a double take of a G Fuel review because we're going to be reviewing both the regular Energy Tub unboxing of Glitch Mix and the Hydration Tub unboxing. Um, since these are pretty much the same flavor, just one has energy and the other one's more uh, electrolytes and without caffeine and everything, I figured I'll do them together, kind of compare, see how the boxes compare, how the flavors compare, uh, which is why we have two shaker cups today. We've got our winter white shaker cup, and let me turn it around, but it's our uh, flavor buddy shaker cup with the watermelon and limey and lemon and all that. Without further ado, let's get into unboxing these. So let's go ahead and start with the energy tub, since that's going to be the, the main one. So of course you've got Miles on the front. This is for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, the new Spider-Man movie that just came out. I haven't gotten to see it yet. Hopefully I get to it at some point in time soon. But until then, I've got these uh, awesome boxes to review. I got the, gl the gl gl Glitch Mix Energy and Hydration one. As well as the Future Sense box for Spider-Man 2099, I think I said that right, and then Dimension Dance, which is Spider-Gwen's flavor. Today we're going to be doing Glitch Mix. So of course we've got Miles Morales in his Spidey outfit, swinging around. Uh, this side's pretty much close to the picture of the bridge on the front. Uh, Miles again. And then his Spider-Man symbol with um, the streets and everything kind of in the background of the buildings and stuff. And then of course the top with like water towers and buses and everything going on. And then the bottom just a box. And then the hydration one has miles on the front like usual. Him swinging around the buildings and everything. Then it's got Miles. Um, I don't know Spider Man 99 a whole lot, so I can't remember his name, but I think it's like. Uh, did, uh, Miguel? Yeah, I think it's like Miguel. And then Spider Gwen. Of course, in Spider Man Cross the Spider Verse, and G Fuel, Hydration, his Spidey sign again, buildings up top, and then the bottom. Alright, well, let's crack these bad boys open. This is supposed to be a. Oh, yeah, I hope I'm gonna start. Pineapple guava coconut. I think that's what it is. Pineapple guava po co coconut. <laughs> coconut. Uh, so, there, also, there's something really cool about the hydration one. As you might have seen, it's a lot taller. The hydration tubs are smaller. So, it's gonna have a little bit of fun to it. But until further ado. Without further ado, until then, we'll unbox the shaker cups. First. Ooh, I didn't know it was transparent. They're not transparent. Uh, holographic. So you see it goes from the red and white. I gotta tell you, I like how they look. They're good for, like, aesthetic. But I don't like how the cup feels. So I'm probably not going to use this as an actual shaker cup. Um, but for design-wise, it's like having it on like a nice shelf or like where I've got my little uh, shaker cups over here with the shoe rack thing. It all works for me. Got the black and red for its color scheme. And then a nice blue insert. I like that blue. Of course, clear inside. Except for the artwork. So that one's really nice. Then we've got his tub. Let's see, glitch mix. Yeah, oh, strawberry guava coconut. My bad. No pineapple. Strawberry guava coconut. Of course, we've got Miles right there. Uh, glitch mix says the flavor. Uh, sugar free. Of course, uh, his symbol, 40 servings, 
You can do energy focus, endurance reaction. Uh, there's the nutrition facts again, if anybody can read those. I don't know if anybody does, but I'm going to show them just in case. Uh, 15 calories. It looks like this tub goes out in 6 2026. So we've got quite a little while until the tub has any issues. And did we get a sticker? We did not get a sticker. Hmm. That's weird. I expected it would have come with a sticker. I guess not. Well, that's fine. You can't win them all. It would have been, I don't know what the sticker would have looked like. That would have been a really cool sticker if it was. So we're going to box both of the boxes and then we're going to try out the flavors side by side. So we're going to do the hydration box. And this hydration box has a cool little extra panel because we are once again getting a stainless steel shaker cup. That is so vibrant. Ooh. It feels nice too. It's it's got like raised texture to it. Of course you got Miles right there with his body symbol. It's a nice raised texture, like you can feel the words and the silhouette and everything. That's really nice. Uh color corresponds with everything. Black and red again. Of course, the insert is attached, which I think you can take this out, but this time I can get it cleaned. Fine, because I'm not going to use these too much. Let's get like a blue top, and of course, a little reflective. So, add that to our list of stainless steel shaker cups, which we currently have four. We currently have four stainless steel shaker cups. So, getting a nice little collection going. Now that's the bag with it, hand wash only. Once again, no sticker. I like having stickers. I'm eventually going to get a little G Fuel, not necessarily a G Fuel fridge, get a little fridge to put like my G Fuel in. I want to put all my stickers on it. And there's the hydration tub. This across the Spider Verse. Uh, two little comms, zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine. It's got the little Spider Man face. On the hydration part, and then strawberry, guava, coconut again. 30 servings in a hydration tub. Uh, electrolytes, focus vitamins. Uh, the supplement facts, if anybody cares about those. Not saying people don't, just saying if you do, there it is. Alright, and that concludes the unboxing of those. So now we're just going to pop them open. Let's do the energy one first and don't worry I'm not going to drink both of these tonight even though having a hydration and an energy wouldn't really hurt you um, I do gotta get to bed sometime soon so I'll probably just finish the hydration one luckily caffeine doesn't affect me too much so I don't really too many issues there I might like be up a little bit longer but I'll be fine and then the hydration one is just going to taste delicious so we'll pop the tab on the egg. No powder, that's fine. It happens. I can smell the coconut from here and the strawberry. Uh, this is pretty close to the Miami Nights flavor as far as smell and kind of close to, to flavor because Miami Nights is a strawberry uh pineapple coconut instead of strawberry guava coconut so while they are pretty similar uh guava is very different from a pineapple uh, from what i know because i think i had a little bit of guava flavors because brain drive is guava and so i think that's how a little bit but regardless i can pass it because my name flavors are so nice um and of course sometimes you don't want a certain flavor sometimes you do want the flavor that's the flavor that's kind of close to it 
you know, like I have tangerine and nectarine flavors, and sometimes I don't want tangerine and nectarine. Sometimes I don't want watermelon lemon, I just want watermelon. Um, we all have preferences and cravings, and it all works out in the end. I got that. There you go. Get it all lined up. Give it a good shake. Do we'll get a scoop. And we'll add it. We'll do this one in the flavor buddies one. So flavor buddies is energy. Go ahead and give that a good shake. And I'm debating if I want to do shake them both, drink them side by side. If I want to drink one, get my idea of it, drink the other one and see how I feel. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take a taste of this one. I'll get them both shaken up first and then do six. So we'll go ahead and get that nice and shaken up. Some of the condensation off of it. Get a nice red flavor. Uh, let's see what the powder smells like. Yep, smells like a, like a coconut ice pop or a, something like chill coconut, so strawberry. Um, it's kind of like a light waterish coconut, nothing bad. A little bit of strawberry. I'm not fully sure what a guava smells like. There's probably some notes of that in there, but I'm not really fully sure. I haven't just like went to a store and smelled a guava. Um, I'm pretty sure people would look at me kind of weird if I did that. I might be on a certain list, I'm not really sure. But uh, I don't really think going to a store and just smelling a guava would be a good idea. I'm going to cut this one open. Do do do. Everything sealed. Oh, also, let's see when our hydration tub goes out in 5 2026. And all the powder went to one side. So, um, fun fact about hydration, if you're wondering why it's so smaller, is because they don't... I got powder in my mouth. Oh, nice. But, um, they don't have to have, they don't have to have as much fluff as they do in energy tubs, and so the hydration tubs are, like, a lot lower. You can't necessarily see it, because if it tilted too far, it's going to go down, but... The powder's only about here. And you might think that that sounds like a ripoff, but really it's not. Um, it just, it is the fact that, like, you are getting 30 servings. You do spend less on an energy tub, on a, on a hydration tub than what you would on an energy tub. Anyways. So it really all kind of, like, adds up. Man, I am really tasting G Fuel in the air. This is nice. A little weird, but nice. Alright, that one seems a little closer to the guava and strawberry side. Uh, coconut's still a part of it, but it smells like there's more of something else in it, which I'm probably going to guess is the guava. Not as strong, because like I said, it doesn't have as much fluff. Um, this seems good. Get a nice, good scoop. Also, the hydration scoops, while well, they do have different sizes and weird shapes, they're kind of kind of like one little size thing. Some have like a long nose to them, others are just flat like that one. It kind of worked out. Give this one a good shake. Good. Here you wipe down the really water in the way up. I'm running out of room over here. Because 
usually you can't tell but where the phone is right now is usually right here sitting in this little area you're currently further back a little fourth wall breaking there but this way there's not like G fuel tubs right here right over here in the corner you can kind of see a little bit clear and there's some G fuel chickens behind us Smell comparison, uh, energy. I smell strawberry and guava. Not a whole lot of coconut in this one, right off the bat. Yeah, I definitely smell a lot more like a like strawberry, and, and probably what I'm gonna guess is guava. Because if it's not coconut, and it smells like something different, it's got to be the guava. Uh, hydration smell. That one smells a little bit closer to like a fresh strawberry. Um, maybe a little bit more coconut to it than the guava, but you can smell kind of all three in this one. But definitely heavy on the, on the nice fresh strawberry smell. I love that about hydrations. Is hydration smells so fresh and like refreshing. While hydra energy is still refreshing, but it's a lot more cloudy. The hydration is because there's a lot more stuff they had to put in for it for the caffeine and to get the taste up and stuff. Hydration is just across the board. If you just want to drink G Fuel because you think it might taste good, I would go with hydration. Uh, good for workouts, running, or even just getting your electrolytes back up. You know, I know we're all supposed to drink water, but sometimes you do want a little bit more, and I think that hydration G Fuel is really great for that. Um, we want to taste test now, I guess. Alright, so energy taste test. A little powdery. Um, I think like the guava, all the flavors kind of pinched together. Because whenever you have Miami Nights, you know, the coconut's more of a refreshing citrus flavor that's balancing out between the kind of tartness of a strawberry and the milkiness of a coconut. This has kind of tart. I'm not fully sure what guava would be like, but it's all kind of mixing into a more uh, hard flavor. This hard would be the word. More structured flavor. That's the way that. I taste strawberry. Um, from my memory of Brain Drive, I taste guava. And coconut. It does kind of taste like just a not as diverse Miami Night. But overall, I think it's a good flavor. I think it fits the flavors you want. It's a nice little like fruit punch esque thing going on. And that's what I agree with. Okay. They wouldn't fully on, but we're all good. This is why I like hydration. I love energy, don't you know? But hydration is so much clear. If they could somehow get the clearness of hydration in the energy or the energy tubs, it'd be great. They're both great, but sometimes you need energy, and so hydration tubs not going to do that. That's that's good. Um, tastes like strawberry and, and guava. Coconuts there too, I guess, but not as milky okay a little bit better on the, the coconut at the time yeah overall um it tastes like strawberry and guava and coconut um strawberry and guava kind of set together as this berry uh fruit structure and coconut's kind of like 
the coating around it that's thin but there as if you had like a uh, I don't know if y'all ever did this but you have like a sucker with a lollipop and everything and you have like a glass of Kool-Aid or some type of juice with you and you drink it and then you know, the lollipop and then you dip it into the drink and then you go back to eating the lollipop it's kind of like that it's got like this nice coating of like coconut to it and then the sweet spot is the strawberry and guava mixed together um now personally like most things I would have I like the hydration more I like more refreshing flavors um but for energy being what it is I think strawberry guava coconut did pretty good um I don't think I liked it as much as I definitely don't like it as much as sour green apple um I do think maybe I liked it more than generic marshmallow birds. Just due to the fact that it does have some flavor to it and not just like a marshmallow. It's got like some fruit to it. Um, so definitely not nine. I don't even remember what I put marshmallow birds at because everything kind of changes over time. Uh, numbers are hard. It's easy to just go like A, B, you know. But I'd say if I'm going to give it a letter ranking, I'd say I'd give it a... Uh, a B. Yeah, let's go with a B. Um, so I'd probably say about a let's see, 90s or A's. Uh, 82. Feel so like maybe an 82 is pretty good. I think the hydration, however, is amazing. Uh, it definitely mixes really well. It has a lot of nice flavors to it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's a really top tier hydration to me, in my opinion. So I'd probably give that one, the other one an A+. Um, yeah, it does, that's what I wanted to do. It tastes good in saturation, so. Um, 90, it does feel like there's something missing. Um, it's stuff that takes it over that edge. It's like a roller coaster, you can get to the top, and you enjoy the top, but you don't have as big of a drop. Still a good drop, but not as big. So I'd probably say like a 90... Five. 93, 95, something like that. 94, we'll do it in the middle, 94. We'll give it a 94. Tastes really good, amazing G Fuel. Amazing hydration flavor. So, on uh, energy scale, I think I said 82 for the energy and for hydration, a 94. Um, but thank you for coming out to the video. I enjoyed getting my Spider-Man flavors in. We've got two more to review, one of which I've had before in packets, which is uh, Dimension Dance, which is a rescan of Rainbow Sherbet. Um, I have not, however, had Future Sense, which is a sour red fruit punch. So that's going to be a new flavor for me. And while I've had rainbow sherbet in a packet, I haven't had it in a tub because I don't run the tub. So that's going to be a nice difference of having it in a tub as opposed to a packet, make sure it's the right ratios and all that. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do next time. I think what I do is I usually want to get new flavors out before I get like reskins and stuff. So I might, I might either do two videos for the other two Spider-Man flavors or I might do one video each. But seeing as how Rainbow Sherbet is kind of a, a redo for me. I probably need to do one. Hydration is one thing, making two of them, because um, hydration doesn't really hurt anything. You can like, put it in the fridge and just shake it in the morning, you're fine. Same thing with the energy, but it just depends on which one you want to use. I'll probably put the energy one in the fridge and drink that later. And I'll probably just have the hydration one tonight because I'm going to bed soon. Um, so the next video will probably 
B Future Sense. Is that the name of the Future Yeah, Future Sense. Which will be the sour red fruit punch flavor, which is it just says name. Miguel. Miguel Martinez? I think that's his name. I, I know a little bit about Spider Man twenty nine nine. A little bit, but never really enough. I think that's his name is Miguel. Um so yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do that one next time and then we'll get to uh, Spider Gwen and then if, if I don't get anything after that coming in because I don't think anything else is coming in and if it is it's a tub um, I don't think I have any more boxes coming in so after that we will do the King and Queen energy thing which that will be a double energy video but those ones feel a lot better to do together I might do Spider Gwen and, and Miguel together. I'm not really sure. Kind of things can change over time. But until then, uh, 82, yeah, 82, yeah, 82 on the hydration of glitch mix, and 94 on the on the energy of glitch mix, and 94 on the hydration of glitch mix. But, uh, yeah, thank you for coming out to the video. Uh, we had a lot of fun today. I'm glad to have my Spider-Man flavors in. And the next time that we do a review, we will do either Future Sense or Future Sense and Dimension Dance co-video. Uh, I haven't really decided that yet. Until next time, thank you for coming out to the video, and I'll see you next time.